Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In our last session, we discussed about conditional probability and we also discussed about some machine learning algorithms regarding classification, regression and also their subtypes. I have mentioned complete machine learning playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will learn the next point that is bias theorem. So, let's see. In this session, we will learn the following points like about bias theorem, their formula and uh, explain this bias theorem with example and their applications. So the first point is about bias theorem. So basically bias theorem is also known as bias rule, bias law or we can also say that it is Bayesian reasoning. So generally this bias theorem was named after the British mathematician that is Thomas Bias. Thomas Bias involve or develop this bias theorem to calculate the probability in particular environment. For calculating the probability, you must require the knowledge of that particular environment. So just consider that there are different environments regarding particular online gaming than uh, mathematical functions. So you must require some theoretical knowledge or theoretical information regarding this environment. And after that, you need to calculate the probability of the certain event. So this is the concept of this bias theorem. So according to the definition, see here, it is a way to calculate the value of probability of B given that A with the knowledge of probability of A given that P. It means that, see here, probability of A given that B, this is your conditional probability. It means that this B event is already occur and you need to find out the probability of A. Okay. So you have the knowledge of this information or this environment. And according to this knowledge, you need to calculate the probability of this thing, like probability of B given that A. Means you have the knowledge of certain environment and as per their knowledge, as per this particular information, you need to calculate the probability of another event, right? So this, that's why this bias theorems are used. Then bias theorems are allows to update the probability prediction of an event by observing the new information in real world right they update the particular prediction or they update the prediction of probability okay so that's why these bias theorems are used so next is bias theorem formula see here in this uh, particular formulas so probability of a given that b equal to probability of b given that a probability of a upon probability of b so this is a formula of bias theorem so just consider that there are environment and the environment name is A and B. So from that environment, you need to calculate this probability. Okay. So I will again explain this formula next. Okay. Now see here. So according to bias theorem formula, the first one is probability of A given that B. So this probability is called as posterior probability. It means that this B event is already occur. Okay. And you need to calculate the probability of A event. So this is called as posterior probability. Next one is probability of B given that A. So this probability is called as likelihood. It means that this probability of A means A event is already occur and you need to find out the probability of B on the opposite of posterior. Okay. Next probability of A. This probability is called as prior probability means before considering any information or before generating any evidence, you need to just calculate the probability of event A. Here, you doesn't require any prior information. Okay. Next one is probability of B. So this probability is called as evidence means a particular evidence is there and you need to calculate the probability of particular event as per the evidence. Okay. And in prior, there is no evidence. You just calculate the probability of particular event. So these are the four tasks is there or four predictions are there. Okay. If A event is B event here already occur, calculate A. In this case, A event already occur, calculate B. In this case, prior case, uh, particular, no any evidence is there and you need to just calculate the probability of event. And here evidence is there and as per the evidence, as per the information, you calculate the probability. So this is a bias theorem formula. So I will explain this formula with example. Okay. Now see here the given example regarding to the particular 
face cards okay now see here uh, there are total 52 cards in deck set right so n equal to 52 cards are there and you need to find out the probability of king given that face means when you receive or when you pick up face card and your face card is a king you need to find out the probability of this event okay now see here there are total 52 cards in deck so n equal to 52 and from that 52 cards 12 cards are called as face cards right see here four cards of king four cards are for queen and four cards are for jack so these 12 cards are called as face cards okay and when you pick up a face card and your face card is a king you need to find out the probability of this event right so n equal to 52 means total 52 cards from that 52 cards 12 cards are called as face cards okay and you need to find out the when you pick up face card and the king and the card is king okay so these king cards mean there are total four king cards one is club one is diamond another is heart and another one is spade so there are total four face cards as there right so 4 by 12 this is your uh, 4 means your king card and 12 means your face card okay so what you remember here n equal to 52 from that 52 12 cards are face card and from that 12 cards 4 cards are for queen king cards okay so you need to put up this information in bias theorem formula for calculating this probability okay right now see here according the bias theorem see here this is the bias theorem formula as we discussed in last uh, slide probability of king given that face equal to probability of face given that king probability of king upon probability of face means there are total four tasks or four events in this particular environment right so first according the formula you need to calculate the probability of king okay so probability of king means see how many cards are king there are total four cards which is related to the king right so four upon how many total cards 52 cards so from 52 cards the four cards are for king right so 4 by 52 equal to 1 by 13 the next is probability of face card so from that 52 cards 12 cards are the face cards right so 12 by 52 equal to 3 by 13 right this is the second event is there now third event is probability of face given that king so probability of face given that king means king card is always a face card right either you receive this heart shape king card or a diamond shape king card any king card is a face card so always probability of face given that king is equal to 1 means king card is always a face card right so for this task or for this event you need to require some prior information prior knowledge right so when you 100% sure it always won when you receive king card and it is a face card so that is x equal to 1 so for all these three events you need to require some prior information means how many cards in deck set how many are the face cards and uh, king card is a face card or not right so you have to require a proper information or proper knowledge prior knowledge right so just put up this information into this formula now see here so probability of face given that king is equal to 1 as per our previous calculation probability of king is 1 by 13 and probability of face is 3 by 13 okay and after calculating this thing the answer is 1 by 3 means when you pick up a face card and the card is king card okay so the probability of this particular event is 1 by 3 so in this way you have to require the prior knowledge or prior information and after that put up this particular values into this bias theorem and calculate the result okay so in this way bias theorem will work now these are the some applications of bias theorem generally a bias theorem is used for helpful for weather forecasting because for in weather forecasting environment is required a proper predictions right then solving logical puzzles and games then also calculate the next step of robot there are some online robotics games are there you need to calculate the prediction what will be the next step right so for all this prediction purpose or calculating the probability purpose this bias theorem will used so for that purpose you have to require some prior knowledge 
or expertise in particular environment okay and after that you need to calculate the probability so hope so you understood this bias theorem with example thank you keep learning keep watching